Okay, today's video is going over the Shreddy app. Shreddy was made by Grace Fit or Grace Beverly, however you want to call her. Um, and over lockdown, it's definitely flooded a lot of our timelines. And from what I can tell, it's helped a lot of people lose weight or stay fit during lockdown. So, in the initial impressions, it's a good thing. And this isn't like an endorsement or an attack on Grace Fit. It's just, you know, initial impressions. I'll go through the app, see what's good, see what's bad. So my initial impressions is that the app is quite a professional app. It looks good. Um, you can manipulate quite a few different factors to suit it to yourself a little bit. Um, and overall, it's uh, aesthetically pleasing as an app. There's a lot of videos to help you with form, uh, like real-time workouts and uh, full video workouts so you can follow along, which is quite nice. And there's also a big endorsement of community. Uh, so you see a lot of people on the Shreddy app sort of helping each other, which is quite nice too. You can only pick between three days a week and five days a week for your gym, for your workouts, which doesn't make a lot of sense to me because a lot of people train one day a week, two days a week, you know, all up to seven days a week. So to pigeonhole you into either three or five is a bit odd. Overall for the workouts, they seem pretty good. Um, they're all quite high rep, but you know, that's not a massive problem. I mean most of what this app's aimed at is i'd say weight loss so you know the high rep approach is fine uh so workouts do look quite good so just looking at the gym guides there's gym lean muscle gym tone up and gym fat loss which you know you'd have to be that experienced to realize a lot of those are the same thing there's a lot of generic terminology which is often thrown at especially women for selling plans so lean muscle and to tone up are pretty similar so I'm assuming when they say lean muscle is to gain muscle without putting on much fat you know these these terms like sculpting your figure and toning up generally always mean the same thing it's lose a bit of body fat gain some muscle which can always happen at the same time. If you're, if, you're, if you're a complete beginner or fairly new to lifting or out of touch with lifting, then you can gain muscle and lose fat. However, for more experienced people, it's generally one or the other. You usually have to eat in a caloric surplus to gain muscle uh, and to lose weight, you'll have to be in a calorie deficit. I can understand why they've used this terminology because I don't think it'd be that appeasing to a lot of girls to say a like muscle growth plan or like a cutting plan. They've definitely used terminology which is gonna appease to that demographic. To have two separate plans, one for gaining lean muscle, and another one for toning up is a bit daft because that's essentially the same thing is losing a bit of weight and putting on a bit of muscle. So moving on to the food or meal plan aspect of the app. It's a bit shit, not to be too mean. So I've just switched from the gym fat loss program to gym tone up program and the meals are the same and they're also way too low on calories for my metrics so i put in all my details saying i'm uh, 82 uh, kilograms and i'm five foot nine and it didn't ask me about my activity level which is weird because that one factor alone will massively vary how much someone should be eating day to day. Like if I'm uh, a secretary or a receptionist or something, chances are my overall activity levels are gonna be quite low. So I will have to eat a lot less to lose weight or to gain weight than someone who say is a scaffolder. So the meal plan is very one size fits all. It's put me on around 1,900 calories, which is so low for me like when I well in April no, May May time I dropped you know I did a on my Instagram I did a you know follow me through my weight loss and this is me at the end of it and I didn't drop below 2,400 calories 2,450 was the final one and that was just the last week and to be honest I was only training four days a week I hit 10,000 steps a day and my job isn't that active so overall it was pretty basic and if I was on 1,900 calories I would a be super hungry all the time 
and B would have dropped weight way too quickly. And this is telling me to do it straight away, which means my, I'm going to drop weight really quickly. I'm going to lose muscle as I drop weight that quickly. And chances are I'm probably not going to stick to it because that's way too low. And I changed on the app from the gym fat loss program to the gym tone up and one was three day a week. The one I'm on now was five day a week and it hasn't changed my calories, which isn't good. Like just with the data I've given it, it should have changed my calories because I've gone from three workouts a week to five workouts a week. So my calorie expenditure has gone up. So it's starting to make sense why a lot of girls are losing a lot of weight on this program or seeing big changes. And it's because they're eating way too little calories for what they should be eating. And this sort of brings me on to my next point, which is the app doesn't really teach the principles to the users. So for example, with the meal plans, my opinion on meal plans is I don't really like them because it's like teaching someone the fish versus giving someone a fish. I'm sure you might've heard that phrase, that you know, analogy before. Uh, it's sort of giving someone the, the program rather than teaching them the principles so they can go away from the app, you know, having learned a lot more about health and fitness so they can then manipulate their, their diet and their training to continue with a, like a healthy lifestyle. Whereas going into a plan blindly, just following the meal plan, won't teach you that much. It's good for business. It's good for them as you will continually need to keep buying from the program to keep these meal plans to stay lean. They're not teaching you about macronutrients, about calories in, calories out, so that you can then take the principles from the app and apply it to your own lifestyle after the app. So it seems like a money-making thing. I don't think they're doing it intentionally. I think they've just put healthy meals down, but people are gonna follow that to the T and it's too low calorie and it's not actually teaching them anything about how to manipulate uh, their diet and workouts so they can be healthier after the app. So my overall opinion on the app is it's good for workouts, but I think that's where you should draw the line. Uh, the community is nice as well, to be fair. I mean, there's a lot of people that have Shreddy in their Instagram handles now, but that is where I think the line it should be drawn. The food aspect of it isn't great. You shouldn't be following the meal plan to a T because the calories are way too low. You should be taking it as meal inspiration and meal ideas, absolutely fine. But people will follow that to the T and it's, it's way too low calorie, it's just way too low. Another problem I have with the app is the terminology. The terminology they're using like tone up, sculpt your body is kind of perpetuating this common misconception within fitness, especially within the female community within fitness that you know growing muscle is going to get you bulky a lot of this app is aimed at weight loss and if you follow the meal plan you will <laughs> lose weight but that's only because there's way too little calories for you uh, i'd say if you're going to buy this app buy it for the workouts because the workouts are fairly good but that's where i think the value ends don't the meal plans are like i said way too low calorie you can use it as meal meal ideas but Trust me, you should probably be eating more than what this app gives you. Also, the terminology used, I'm not a huge fan of, only because it, the words like toning and sculpting were created by the fitness industry in order to make putting on muscle more appeasing to women, because there was this common misconception that putting on muscle, putting on muscle will make you look bulky, which is wrong. That's totally wrong. It's just, it's just, like, it's just like wrong. So the use of these words, although I understand it from a marketing perspective, is playing into common misconceptions with especially women in the fitness industry. There's also no real educational aspect of it. You know, with fitness apps, I like to see that they're trying to educate you on health and fitness so you can walk, leave the program or leave the app knowing more about how to manipulate your weight and achieve the goals that you want to achieve. The value of this app sort of ends at how to do a split squat or a thrust, that's all the app's really gonna give you. The app needs to take into account someone's activity levels so it can better plan the caloric limits and the meal plans for losing weight or gaining muscle. Without that, they're kind of taking a stab in the dark at what calories they should be giving you because right now it's a one size fits all meal plan and that size is way too small. 
So good points, the community and the workouts. Bad points is it's very one size fits all and the meal plans are pretty much useless besides for meal ideas. I haven't re reviewed many other apps yet. I'm hoping there's better, more tailored apps out there. Um, I'll probably do a few more reviews over the coming weeks on uh, better fitness apps, which might be worth the tenner a month. Overall, I think Grace Beverly and Grace Fit are doing, or the Shreddy team are doing good things within the, within the fitness industry. I just think this app has dropped the ball when it comes to the meal plans, the calories, because people will follow that to the T. Uh, the workouts are fine, but the rest is a bit iffy. If you got something from this video, like it, maybe even subscribe to me because I've got like 17 subscribers right now, so could do a few more. And if you have any questions about the calories you, you should be consuming or anything to do with your diets, feel free to give me a message on Instagram. That's where I'm most active. But besides that, thank you for watching the video and I'll see you again soon.